Mortal Kombat 1 Chaos Reign has released, and I thought we would talk about it and review it. Let's get started. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Geek City. So how I'm going to organize this is I'm first going to talk about just everything that came with the update, and then I will do a deep dive into the story mode, talking about the good and the bad with spoilers. I will be spoiling, so if you don't want to be spoiled, you've been warned. Alright, so first I'm going to talk about the update in general, some of the new things you get in here. You get a ton of new skins, and you have, uh, we'll, we'll talk about some of the new things to add, where you first get, um, Animalities, which is a new finisher, and I think they're all pretty fun. I haven't used them all. I've used a couple, and I, I really enjoy them. I think they're a lot of fun, um... Uh, I think Peacemaker is probably my favorite. I really enjoy them, and I like that in these modern games, you're starting to see some of these old um, finishers like Friendships. Now we just need babalities. I think we need babalities. We need babalities. We also had uh, Towers of Time, and I think MK11 did it better because like you're getting skins with every single tower that you complete, which you don't get with this game. Oh, you ju you're just getting like uh, you know, some coins and level ups, but you're not getting a lot. Um, but, you know, it's, you know, you can, you can still get some dragon crystals in like one skin if you get top 5%. So there is that. Um, I mean, I'm still going to play it and everything because it's a good way to level up characters, but yeah, we got some new stuff in the shrine as well, which it's about time. They have not been updating that game like at all really weird you get like one thing per season now in this one they added a ton of new like brutalities and combat cards but i preferred skins yes but whatever it's fine it's at least it's something um okay i'm gonna quit rambling about that y'all know you all here to see me talk about the story mode and um i thought it was good i didn't hate it i didn't love it am i disappointed a little bit i hate that that i have to say that yeah, I was, a little, I was a little disappointed. Now, looking at the reviews for this game, people are saying this is, like, the worst NRS writing I've ever seen. And I, I wouldn't say that. I still like it. So let's talk about the good here, some of the things I like here. I like the first chapter with the attack at the wedding. I thought that was cool. I like some of these new multiverse versions. I thought that this version of Rain and Tanya were way better than the ones we got in the actual main uh, timeline. Like, they're actually interesting, and they have a chapter. I thought that was cool. I like um, the fight scenes, obviously, they look great, um, great choreography. Um, you get a ton of skins from completing this, a lot that I didn't know you'd get. They didn't really advertise that. Um, so I like a lot of that stuff. I like kind of the arena that they're in and everything. I like that there's um, kind of different chapters to it. You have the first chapter with the wedding and what they should do with Bihan, and then there's stuff with the Chaos Realm, and then there's the stuff after. Um, but I feel like there's more negatives to positive. The negatives aren't as big of a deal, but they're still there. Let's talk about those. I want to keep these reviews under five minutes from now on, so I'm trying to go a little quicker. Scorpion? Whoa. I don't know what that was. That was weird. I don't know why I did that. But, um, I thought that Scorpion was kind of a jerk. And I feel like everybody's talking about that. Basically, uh, Cyrex was lied to into thinking Kawhi Lang was evil. So they atta attack his wedding, which I get. He's going to be mad and pissed at Cyrax because he she helped attack his wedding. But it, it, the story mode proves him wrong because he was talking about how in the main story, oh, all, all of the Lin Kuei are evil because they're going to be with they're gonna be following Bihan. And this proves him wrong. And so all throughout the story mode, he's just like being a jerk to Cyrax instead of trying to be like... he And he never apologizes. He forgives Cyrax, but he never apologizes. And I get why he's mad. His brother is responsible for the death of their father. They attacked his wedding. I get it, but he's a jerk the whole story mode. And he almost decapitates Cyrax. If it wasn't for his wife, he would de decapitate Cyrax, which is just crazy to me. I liked him in the main story. Not here. Um, also, I feel like Smoke should have been a part of the mission. If they're looking for people to sneak in, Smoke should have been there. He didn't get enough to do in the main story, and I feel like he should have gotten a chapter. Uh, I don't know why they didn't do that, but whatever. Maybe they just couldn't afford Yuri. Um... Who knows, maybe Yuri's doing some Spider-Man thing or something, hopefully. Fingers there. Um, and the ending is very anticlimactic. You def you just kind of defeat Havoc, just like that. It's just like, that's it? That, 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 that was really quick. It, no setup, 
the boss fight's super easy, and then bam, that's it. That's, that's all there is to it. And then the ending's weird, where I don't really know what how they're gonna go from here. What are they gonna do with Bihan and Havoc? Is he defeated? I don't really know. It just kind of ends. So although it seems like I was talking more like negative, I still liked it. I enjoyed it. Um, I liked the story mode. I liked some of the scenes in here. I liked some of these new versions of characters like the World War II Johnny. I had a couple frustrations with it, which I hate. Um, I hate that, you know, it's not top tier or anything. I hate that it's not as good as the base campaign for this game. But, I mean, hey, not everything's going to be perfect. But um, let me know what you thought about it. Let me know in the comments. Did you like it? Did you hate it? And please, you know, let me know why. Um, again, if you prefer these shorter videos, let me know in the comments down below. And as always, stay geeky.